Hello guys, today we're gonna show you how to create a decorative vase. It will be very easy. So let's start with the foundation. For this we use the shape generator tool. First we need to set the number of edges up to 64, bottom radius 50 and the top one 60. Also the height is 30. Then we need to click the plus button and add another segment. We need to change the height value to 64 and the top radius to 70. Now create another segment again and use height 45. Then the top radius of a new segment is 60 and also click a plus button. Then set the top radius up to 50. Then we need to create a mold. To do this, set view to top one and camera mode to autograph. And then time to draw something. For this, we use the freehand tool. Now choose spline brush and in the precision section, turn on minimum step size. And start drawing. The next part of creation is place molds and copy offsets. Now switch on the perspective projection and rotate the mold by minus 90 degrees on X axis. Then move it a little to the right. Now use scale tool with key proportion option to reduce the size of the mold. Now add depth to the mold, turning off the option key proportion and increase it that axis. 25. Now move it by 60 on that axis. Now we need to create several copies using copy offset. Set four numbers of copies. And choose option Pivot, which will place copies around the central dot. Select all modes and with set of one number of copies and option to position, place them a little bit upper and rotate. Also, use taper tool for deforming top width of object, then create another copy and repeat your moves two more times. Also, you can use scale for reducing size of modes. Next essential part is creating a space inside. For this, select foundation and with copy offset, set value of Y to 10 and add another option, minus 60, to X and that. Now click copy and hide. Our final stage is adding a difference and magic fix. Select Foundation and click Reverse Selection for selecting all modes. Then use Stitch and Scoop with option Union to merge geometry of all objects. Then select also the Foundation and use Stitch and Scoop with option Difference for cutting out modes from Foundation. Now I hide another foundation by clicking an I button. Then we name the bigger one to ways and the smaller to difference. Naming object will make it easier to serve them in a list, for example in a difference dropdown. Exactly this option we will do next. In the selection dropdown choose difference. And now we need to fix geometry grid that use magic fix with tolerance 250.
So that's now for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, add a comment and share with your friends. Good luck in your project. Bye!